I show you the best way to reduce your raw photos to save some space, time and money without losing quality and also you have all the raw options. I found this fantastic software that reduced the raw files by 80%. It reduced a 50 MB large raw file to just 8 MB. Not only did it get reduced in file size, but it also will speed up to five times your editing workflow in Lightroom. Obviously, you save some money in storage space as well. This video will show you the software. I compare the raw and the compressed files, showing you how much space and time and money you would save with it, as well what I'm thinking about this software and if I would use it. The software called RAW-Z, before known as Dot Photone. First of all, this software is right now only for Mac available, but there's a waiting list for Windows users. So how do they compress your RAW photos? To do this 80% compression, they calibrate the cameras to eliminate unnecessary information and noise in your RAW files, as I got it right. If you want to see the exact video how they're doing it, I highly recommend you check out their video, which I will link down below. So is it lose less compression? Well. Yes, let's say it's less than 0.3 bits per pixel. You can zoom in to 200% and you will not see a damn difference. So Rossi relies on a dope DNG converter. Once the file have converted in DNG, Rossi can run his algorithm to optimize the image data inside the DNG files. It will not use the compression part of the DNG converter. That's a difference between the Adobe converter compression and the RAW-Z compression. As you know by now, you will get a small DNG file. You can also convert your whole Lightroom catalog and its relinks automatically. Even better, having the RAWs you already edited in Lightroom has created the XMP files on the side, which Rosa will then combine in the small DNG file for you. There's no dynamic range change, no pixel resolution change, no bit counting change, no lossy artifacts, no color loose. They say raw quality in JPEG files and it is so true. As an event concerned on wedding photographer myself, I photograph many pictures. So this tool comes very handy when you want to go quickly through your photos in Lightroom and also want to save some storage space because it's quite a lot. And when you travel, you have a lot of hard drives with you. But you also want to enjoy the full resolution from a RAW. These days I photograph mostly travel, real estate and product photos as well, creating a lot of time lapse and hyperlapses. And I end up shooting between 30 to 50,000 photos a year. That will be by 50K raw photos out of the camera. Be one raw, that will end up with 2.5 terabytes. If you convert them, what I'm usually do in DNG files via Lightroom, which they are then 24 megapixel, it will be end up still with 1.2 terabyte. So let's see raw Z, which gets down to eight megabit in a raw file. By 50,000 photos, you will end up with just 400 gigabytes only, which is freaking insane. I couldn't believe it at first when I saw this. But now you think, nah, the quality is crap, but I will show you it's not. Okay, before I go to the speed and the money saving part, I mean, you already can imagine and already see, but let's compare all the three different raw photos together. Now we are comparing the raw and the compressed raw. I photographed my photos with a Sony a7 III, which has 24 megapixels in raw. Here you can see out of cameras, the raw files, which is 50 megapixel in file size. The second file got imported via Lightroom and converted in DNG. And the third file is compressed or converted via RAW-Z. As you already can see, the file size is different in the RAW file. I will zoom in now in 200% and 400%. So you can't really see the difference. I also link all the three files down below so you can check them by yourself. As you know, RAW is better than JPEG. And if you can save that much space and lose only under 0.3 bits of information per pixel, the program is sold for me. Get me the damn program, right? <laughs> So now we're coming to part three, speed boost and money saving. As you know by now that the raw files are smaller and obviously it will speed up your whole Adobe Lightroom editing workflow five times. Why is it? Because the files are smaller and get loaded faster when going through the photos and editing them. If you use Lightroom on your iPad to edit your photos, it will upload and download the raw photos faster into the cloud. And when you're traveling, you also save data. I also use SSD, which already makes it even faster. If you want to see my whole workflow or setup in Adobe Lightroom, please let me know in the comments down below. So money-wise, SSD are expensive. And if I can save up to 80%, 
whoa, that's not a thing I want to think about more because I spaced up my one terabyte SSD to 500 gigabytes. The only reason why I couldn't go lower is because I have a DJI Mavic Air RAW files there and right now they're not calibrate this camera so the DNGs are still big. So I didn't end up buying a new SSD for $200 so that's what you save in money which I then can spend in new gear, education video or <coughs> crypto. Don't forget to like and subscribe this YouTube video. But now we're going to the next part. Part four, how to use RZ and what's my workflow right now. After photo shooting, I copy the files to my inbox folder on my SSD, select then the folder or drag and drop the photos to the RZ app. So first of all, what you have to do, download the RZ app and the Adobe DNG converter if you haven't already installed them. So now open RZ. You have then two options. Option one, optimize your whole Lightroom catalog, which is super easy. Razi will then optimize your whole Lightroom catalog and reconnects your files, your RAWs automatically. Or you do it manually, whatever you want to do. Oh, I want to mention it again. If you have already added photos in your Lightroom catalog, Lightroom saves your XMP files at the side on your RAW. So what Razi is doing is combining them and you're not losing your editing. Thank you, Razim, so much for this. All safe. Little hint, before you compress your Lightroom catalog, check if you tick that Lightroom automatically save your settings as an XMP. Or easiest way, mark all your photos, right click and save to metadata. Option two, optimize individual RAW files or just drag and drop the selected folder into the RAW Z app. You can then choose where to save the compressed files and where you want to move the original files. So let's say you want to back up them on a separate hard drive. So you select a different hard drive. Done. Then click start so that RAW Z compress and optimize your RAWs to a sweet tiny DNG files which has all the information what you want to have from shooting in RAW. As a per image, it takes around 0.7 seconds with a six core MacBook Pro. Let's open Lightroom or import the compressed raw photos in Lightroom. If you converted your Lightroom catalog, Rossi created a new catalog so that they have a backup as well. As you can see, you have all the edits, stars and colors from your previous editing. So enjoy it. So part five, how much costs Rossi? Well, you can test it for 30 days for free or you get the yearly subscription, which are 80 bucks. Or in my opinion, the best option is to buy it for a lifetime for just 199, which saves you more than a hard drive. As I was reaching out to them because I want to create this video for you or this review tutorial, whatever you want to call this, they gave me a 10% discount for my audience. So for you, by using the link in the description and the promo code Mike. So using the promo code Mike. So instead of 199, you save 20 bucks and get the software for $180. You also support my channel because I'm getting a little commission. That's all. So what do I think about RAW Z now? Well, it is worth the damn money. I will use it now every day because I can save the storage space 80% and when I'm creating time-lapse, hyperlapse, I have so many photos to compress them and save. Instead of 130 gigabytes, I have only like a couple gigabytes. Speed up my workflow five times. What do you want more? I love this software. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video to your friends, subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you will get future videos. I will also share more productive videos as I'm so passionate about cutting my time in post-production and saving some money. So I will share with you. Feel free to ask me any question about Razi. What do you think about this powerful tool and will you get it? So yeah, let me know in the comments down below and until then, enjoy the time creating and save some time and money with this awesome plugin. So, and see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.